Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am back to share with you guys some more um, projects that I completed with the AliExpress Alina Cuddle Alina Craft Dies that I was sent in my um, design team package. Um, so let me first share with you guys the dies that I used this time around. Um, so the dies that I used was this little um, bunny die right here. It comes with the bunny and the little... Um, his little stomach piece as well as some whiskers so I used that one I also used this one this one didn't come in my last design team package but it did come in one of them so I used this bow piece right here I also used this um, layering die it's um, it looks kind of like a flower to me um, and you can definitely make like cattle lilies with this because I've tried it but um, I actually don't have that project to share with you guys right now but if I do it again then I will definitely share that with you um, I also use this one with the little um, sprigs or little leaf vines um, this one with the flowers um, this one again um, this is a layering card set or layering die set and I love this one so I use that one again I also use the um, treat box um, die and I will give you a little short demonstration on how to put that together it's super simple and then I also use the sun bunny loves you die um, that cuts into your paper so let me show you guys um, the projects that I completed um, the first things that I did was I used the little bunny die on these little bags and I thought this came out really really cute now on this one um, I popped the bunny up on foam and cut it out and used some felt as the little um, stomach piece and put a little bow up top and then I cut this bag using a bag die that I have and um, I used some um, pipe cleaner as the handle and I thought that came out super duper cute and on this one what I did was I cut it into the bag with the bunny and then I layered it in the background with um, some of this paper right here and so um, I used a little heart on the stomach and a little bow on the head and I did put the whiskers on this one and I don't know if you can really see the face on here but the face is um, on there as well and then again I used some pipe cleaner as the holder and I just put a little bit of tool up top on both of them so those are some really cute little Easter project little bags that you can give as little favors or treats to someone um, the next one that I did was I created this little mug rug and I've done this before um, using these type of layering dies these are great to make um, little mug rugs with and so what I did was I cut out a piece of um, stiff blue felt and then I um, ironed some stiff um, what is that stuff called like steam -a seam I ironed that onto my fabric before I cut it and this is the stiff kind so it's a little bit thicker than the regular kind um, it feels almost like um, felt on one side of it and then it has a sticky part on the other so I ironed that down and then I just took my die and cut this out. You can definitely sew around this if you wanted to, but I wasn't concerned about um, doing a lot of sewing on this project. So I just hot glued the top piece down to the bottom piece. And then I used that bow that I just shared with you guys on the side and then put a little um, pom-pom right there. So it just sits down on your desk or table and you just put your um, coffee mug or tea mug on top of this. Um, you can make a set of four and give these out as gifts you know just wrap them up with some um, seam binding or some ribbon and I think that would make a really really cute gift so that was another project that I completed then here is another project that I completed and I thought this came out super cute I was inspired um, by everyone that is making different things to house um, ephemera and so I used um, the layering die that I shared with you guys um, which looks like this right here and I used the largest one and the next to the largest one and I just created um, a front piece with some gold poster board paper and then I glued my pretty paper on top of that and then I did the same exact thing on the back side for the sides I just measured out um, the height of this part of the die and then I scored every half an inch and I I glued the accordion piece onto the side of it and for the bottom I just cut another piece out to fit my bottom and then I put some heavy 
cardstock on the bottom as well to hold it, kind of hold it in place. And so um, this is a little um, a little embellishment holder that can hold different embellishments and stuff. And I did put these two pink ones down in there and glued them down. But then these other ones are just kind of sitting in there. I haven't really glued them down, but it gives you like separation between so that you can put like ephemera and stuff like that down in there. You can also put um, the memory decks cards down inside of here as well. Um, on the front is where I use that flower um, that I showed you guys. And then these are the little vines. I just cut them in gold paper and glued those on there. And then I used some tulle as my little bow up top. Really, really cute. I'm going to link um, a lady that I just started following here on YouTube um, down below. Um, when I saw some boxes and stuff that she made, I was like, oh, I got to make something like that. So mine's a similar, not the same as what she made. Her boxes are absolutely gorgeous. And she does do tutorials on the boxes that she made. I think she made one to house like um, cards and envelopes and stuff like that. And she's made a, a bunch of other ones. So I will link her information down below. So um, that is what I made with that particular die. I was thinking about putting some Velcro at the top so that it'll stay closed kind of like this. But then I just left it open because I was like, if you have dimensional embellishments, then you would want to have it kind of open enough so that you can put stuff down in there and be able to pull it out. So that is my little file box for ephemera that I created. Then, um, what else did I do? I made the little gift boxes. I love the way these came out. They are so super pretty. And so I used floral paper as well as some polka dot paper and I used gold um, card stock from um, either Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree. I put a little pearl bling up top on this one and on this one I used a bow um, from Elena Craft Store as well. I just cut that out and then put a little pom-pom on top of that. And I think these are so cute. And these little boxes, they're small, but they do hold a lot. And this is what the inside of it looks like. And I thought that I would um, show you guys how to put this one together. It's super simple. Um, but I know that a lot of times people have questions on how to put the dies together. So that particular die comes with this large piece that you need to cut out twice. It also comes with this little piece right here. It kind of looks like a crown to me, but it layers on top of your box. And then it also comes with these words and one says love. And this one actually has a little tiny heart um, that's right over here, but um, I don't have that heart piece and I did not punch out the little pieces out of here so forgive me for that and then this one says sweet day and you can definitely use these on the box or you can use them for other projects but I didn't use it this time around so what you're going to do um, is you're going to first put on your little decorative piece and for this um, you might want to use a um, a fine tip applicator bottle or something like that um, to put this piece on because it is very thin like the uh oh it's a very thin um uh scroll kind of piece and so you want to make sure that you don't get a whole lot of glue on there but you're just going to pick one of your pieces and you can definitely put this on the front and the back if you want or you can leave it off altogether, or you can use this piece to cut into um, the top of this so all i did was just put some glue on there and um make sure that I didn't put a whole lot so that it won't ooze out the sides. So that is about it um, for that piece if you wanted to use the decorative piece. And then there are score marks here and here. So all you're gonna do is just score on those pieces on both sides. Once you do your scoring, all you have to do is just layer one piece on top of the other, that's it. And so for that, I'm just gonna use some hot glue because it's quicker. And so I just put hot glue on there and I'm just going to line it up, making sure that it is not over the score marks on either side. And so that is that. That's pretty much all the glue that you really need to use. I mean, you can, if you want, you can glue this piece to this back piece if you want to, because you can always just open it from the sides or you can just leave that piece unglued and just kind of um, their score marks up here and you can score on them if you want to but um what i've noticed is that um, the box just kind of goes in place once you um, put it inside of the little slit so you want to make sure that 
both of these slip pieces are inside of there. So all I do is I just kind of push it with my hand at the bottom to get that to go over that because it makes like a rounded kind of piece after you put it in. And so you're going to do the same thing over here. Just kind of push it down and feed it through that little slit and then you're done. So that is your little box all put together. You can still put a little pearl on there, a bow if you want. You can hang a little tag off of it. And it's just super duper pretty. It's such a pretty little box. So that is um, how I created um, these little boxes. Very, very cute. I love this little die. A very cute die. Now, also, my last video, um, some people had questions about um, my little project that I completed with my little um, girl right here. And they wanted to know how did I do the tool skirt and how did I put this together? And it's simply um, paper piecing. So I will share with you guys really quickly um, how I put that together. And thank you so much for all the comments on that video. I do really appreciate it. Um, so this is my pieces that I cut out. So this is the die and these are the pieces that I cut out. And like I said, it's just nothing but paper piecing pretty much. So whatever you want your skirt piece to be is what you're going to cut out as your main piece. And in, in this case, I want my skirt part to be um, this really pretty um, gold cardstock. Now I will say for my particular die, and it may not be the same with yours, I did have to use a precision base plate with this for the bottom part. And I also had to put a sheet of paper on there as a shim in order for the uh, skirt part to cut out. I did let Alina know that my die was not cutting properly at the bottom. She thought that maybe my die was not as sharp. And so she's going to send me another one that hopefully will cut out a little better. So if you have a problem with cutting out your girl, um, just use a shim and make sure that you're using the precision base um, plate because this bottom part is a very intricate cut. You know, so anyway, you're going to cut your base piece out of that, whatever you want your skirt part to be. You're also going to need um, your skin because this right here is pretty much her skin. And so I just cut out using just a piece of scrap paper. I cut out this piece for her skin. So I'm just going to lay. Um, go ahead and um, I dropped my glue, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue on there to put that together. Oh, now my, my glue bottle is sticky. Um, so I'm just going to lay that on top of there. And that's going to be her skin, you know, the top part of her, um, oh, my fingers are super sticky. The top part of her, um, her torso. So you're going to layer that on top. And then the next thing, um, I'm just going to put a little bit more glue under here and you don't even need this much of her skin but you know you you just need to make sure that you have this bottom part her torso part cut out so then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to layer her hair and so I cut her hair out of black and it's just going to layer right on top of there and so let me go ahead and do that Okay, now everything is sticking to my glue, guys, because um, I haven't actually used this glue in a long time. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I'm going to use that glue. And now it's just sticking to me. So, And it's a wet glue, so it's kind of moving around. But you're just going to layer that right on top of where her hair needs to go. And... Just like that. Okay. Then the next thing that you're going to do is you need to layer her face. So I cut her face out of a brown um, cardstock that I have, like a tan kind of color cardstock. And so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there and I'm going to layer her face. And her face goes all the way towards the bottom of her head just like that in the middle of her hair so now her face is on I try not to touch it too much because I have sticky glue on my fingers so um, just trying to get it on there but not touch it too much okay 
then you need to put on her shirt like you can cut out of you know her shirt out of paper you can cut it out of felt i cut it out of felt this time um and so i'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my little felt piece and her shirt just layers right on top look at this glue everywhere sorry guys oh gosh this happens you know when you try to make a video so you're just going to layer her shirt just on her just like that and then that gives you the the illusion of her arms being there and her chest and stuff so you're going to do that and then um the next thing that you're going to do is her little cheeks so i you know cut out another little piece of her face and I'm just going to put little dots of glue where those little black semicircles are and that is where I'm going to layer her the little dots for her rosy cheeks okay so I just put a little bit of glue there and then just take these little cheeks out and layer them on top and see like I'm saying it's just um, paper piecing pretty much it's just adding paper layer by layer to get the girl to look like what you want her to look like okay so i'm just layering that on top just like that and so now she's pretty much put together so the only difference the only thing that i did differently her little shirt is not set up all the way yet but um the only thing that i did differently was i put um tulle on her skirt and her tulle skirt pretty much looks like this and it's just pieces of tulle that i put together and i'll show you guys in this piece so i just took a piece of tulle however long you want to take it cut it cut it and then you're going to fold it in half just like this and then you're going to take some hot glue and if you guys are afraid of being burnt you need to definitely um, get you those little uh, fingers that protect your, you know, those little sleeves that protect your fingers. Um, otherwise, just kind of let it cool down just a little bit. And then you're going to just roll it in your fingers just like this, as tight as you possibly can. Because that part is not going to be stained. You just want to keep that part together and you want to make it as tight as you can. You're going to do that as many times as you need to. I believe I did it one, two, let's see, one two three four that's four times so this will be the fifth time and then i'm just going to add this to this little cluster that i already have so i'm just going to take some more hot glue and i'm going to add that i just put hot glue right there and i'm just going to add that to the side and i want to kind of squeeze it because her torso is not very big so you got to be able to hide it behind her torso okay so once you squeeze it all together and get it as tight as you possibly can, um, got glue everywhere, Jesus. Um, then what you're going to do is you're gonna glue all over my little girl. You're gonna take your little girl and you're gonna hot glue her skirt right to the back of her, okay? So I'm just gonna take some hot glue put it on the back of her just like this and then I'm just going to lay her skirt right in the back of her just like that okay and then there's nothing more for you to do except fuss around with her skirt you can cut it and make it shorter um, it's just that I liked it to be kind of spread out off to the sides um, past where this gold part is okay and so that's how I like mine. Um, but you can definitely cut this shorter and, you know, make it shorter. But this will be so cute on, you know, a card or a layout or something like that. Or even on a dimensional project like the one that I completed. You can also take like a little bow. I have this little yarn bow. And you can take that and you can glue it on her um, skirt part or... You can glue it on her hair as well. I think I'm gonna glue this one onto her hair. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit of hot glue and put it right there in her hair. And then she becomes a really 
cute embellishment for any card or project that you may have. So that is about it. That is how I made my little um, girl that I made for the hair bow holder. Um, this is her right here. And this I just used different, a different type of tool and I used pink as her little skirt part and on this one I used gold. Um, but you can, you know, switch it up however you like. You can use yellow, pink, blue, whatever tool you want to use. It is just super cute and I love, love, love this particular die. So that is about it, guys. I hope that helps um, the people that were asking about it. And if you have any other questions or comments, just leave them down below. And I'll try to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, real quick. Jesus. The Sun bun Sun Bunny loves you. <laughs> This is the project that I completed with the Sun Bunny Loves You um, die cut. And it's actually a tin can. This was, you know, it had vegetables in it. I cleaned it out and I altered it. And I think it came out super duper cute. But this is where I use that die, Sun Bunny Loves You. And I put a little bit of tool here, some pom-pom trim right there. And then I just added my little pins to the uh to the can i just you know i love doing altered projects and that is just one of the altered projects that i completed and i completely forgot so sorry about that but now i'm done as always guys if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and i'll get back with you as soon as i possibly can take care guys bye